वेलकम टू माय व्यूज न्यूज ब्रेकिंग न्यूज इज फ्रॉम टेगराय वे टेगराय रीजनल गवर्नमेंट हैज रिस्पॉन्डेड टू एफ्रिकन यूनियन इन्विटेशन टू टेगराय टू अटेंड पी स्टॉक्स ड्यू टू बी हेल्ड Uh, at the end of this week in south africa african unions high representative musa faki wrote a letter to tigray president de bratson gabriel mikhail the letter dated the 1st of october was made public yesterday uh, on the 4th of october tigray government has officially received this letter and it has officially replied now is tigray regional Go government going to send a team of negotiators to attend the upcoming peace talks in south africa uh, tigray has shared some concerns tigray wants some clarifications can we say that the questions raised by tagarai regional government indicate that tagarai is not uh, fully comfortable with joining peace talks due to be held in south africa we'll have a detailed look at we'll try to analyze a tagarai regional government's statement which is a response a reply to Musa Faki's uh, invitation to Tigray. Firstly, uh, Ethiopian federal government uh, today issued a statement. It uh, accepted African Union's offer, rather invitation. It accepted African Union's invitation to attend peace talks in South Africa. and uh, ethiopian government's uh, communication ministry said that uh, this acceptance of invitation was in line with ethiopian government's position that it would uh, be part of talks with tigray but uh, without any preconditions so one side is ready no concerns no questions no clarifications Tigray, on the other hand, uh, has shared some concerns in its response. Tigray firstly says that uh, on the 11th of September last month, it offered cessation of hostilities. Uh, we must differentiate between cessation of hostilities and ceasefire. Cessation of hostilities means that immediate silencing of guns. cease fire means that uh, some modalities uh, are uh, agreed some points are agreed about uh, uh, silencing of guns permanently so tigray offered back then on the 11th of september cessation of hostilities immediate silencing of guns then talks to decide modalities of permanent cease fire offer was uh, welcomed by african union by eu by us african union back then urged uh, ethiopian government to respond positively for a negotiated cease fire in a northern ethiopia but ethiopian government did not respond positively uh, and we saw an intensified air campaign air strikes don strikes uh, and renewed counter offensives uh, ground offensives on several fronts by endf and edf were launched then came this uh, this invitation from african union firstly tigray has made it clear that it was not consulted before african union shared this invitation it means tigray is not on board regarding the venue south africa regarding the team of mediators three members uh, olisogono masanjo yohuro kenyata kenyan a former president and uh, fumzile mlambo former deputy president of uh, south africa tigray was not consulted in advance regarding the venue 
and perhaps regarding the mediation panel as well. The latter, Tegra's latter, but makes it clear. Further, it says it wants clarification about uh, African Union's agenda. Is cessation of hostilities part of the agenda of uh, African Union's uh, meeting, meeting due to be held uh, at the end of this week? Because Tigray wants, as I said earlier, immediate silencing of guns, immediate stopping of war, then talks uh, to uh, reach uh, agreement about ceasefire and then talks about political issues like Western Tigray, future of etc. Since talks could take time, talks could take uh, weeks and months, that is why Tigray wants immediate cessation of hostilities. And uh, when African Union invited Tigray regional government uh, to attend the talks uh, uh, in uh, the invitation letter shared uh, yesterday, there was mention of negotiated ceasefire in that uh, invitation letter. There wasn't, uh, focus wasn't on immediate cessation of hostilities. Tegarai wants immediate stopping the war. So it wants clarification because talks in South Africa could take uh, days, weeks, months. So while talks will be underway, what about uh, the ongoing war on different fronts? Will it go on? No. Tegarai wants to stop the war first, secession of hostilities, then talks for permanent ceasefire and then political talks. So one clarification required by Tegarai regional government. Secondly, team of negotiators. Tegarai says which other guarantors, uh, observers, international uh, observers, guarantors uh, will be part of this process. And uh, Tegarai's uh, response uh, to Africa Union in the, in the form of a letter has been shared with other international players too. It is addressed to Musafaki, but copies have been submitted to IGAD to Mike Hammer, U.S. Special Envoy, to Anath Weber, EU Special Envoy, to Hannah, a UN's spokesperson, a UN uh, representative. Uh, uh, it means that, uh, and Yuhuro Kenyatta as well, uh, and Fumzile too. So Tegarai wants all these players to be part of talks. Here, Tigray wants a clarification. Were other international players, observers, monitors were invited to this week's talks or not? And what role will have, uh, what role will international community have in these talks? Will it have some role or talks will be solely uh, led by African Union. And lastly, Tigray wants clarification regarding uh, the security and travel of a team of mediators from Tigray. Last point, it's not a big deal. Obviously, flight can be arranged uh, from Tigray to South Africa. Security of Tigray's delegation will also be ensured. It's not a big deal. It's not a big issue. Tigray is not uh, making any demands regarding resumption of basic services, regarding unfettered humanitarian access to Tigray, which were Tigray's demands. But Tigray has stepped back from its demands. It is ready to send a team of negotiators, but, but it does not want to be part of talks which are being held only under the auspices of African Union, it wants other players, international players like EU, US, UN, also IGAD to be part of this uh, peace process in South Africa. And secondly, Tegarai wants a role for international community in these talks. Uh, it uh, 
it does not want these stocks to continue for months while fighting is ongoing uh, in Tigray, Amhara, Tigray, Afar, border areas in Tigray as well. So, uh, clarification, uh, clarifications have been demanded by Tigray regional government. It means that uh, Tigray wants clarifications in public. It does not want any clarifications uh, behind the closed doors. It has made the statement, the response to African Union's invitation public. It wants African Union's response uh, made public. So, African Union will have to respond publicly to Tigray's uh, concerns, Tigray's uh, uh, request for clarification. At the same time, Tigray says it is ready to send its team of negotiators to South Africa. Let's see, will African Union clarify the points raised by Tigray? But it just shows that uh, Tigray was not consulted. Tigray regional government was not consulted in detail before uh, Africa Union invited a regional government uh, to talks due to be held in uh, South Africa this week. Uh, overall, uh, one side uh, is agreeing to be part of the talks, Ethiopian federal government. Tegara is ready to, but it has shared some uh, points which are uh, concerns of Tigray regional government. Let's see. I think African Union will respond publicly to Tigray's concerns in coming hours. Thank you for watching.